AI first code editor. Oh, and sweet, straight out of the box, it lets me pick Vim. And apparently cursor is a fork off VS Code, so all the extensions should work. I think that's one of the big appeals of it. VS Code extensions import all my extensions. Okay, so first off, they start us out with a cursor tutor, which is cool. See here it says Command L to chat, Command K to generate. Okay, let's try Command K. Generate a component that lets you play tick tac toe. And it's quickly generating the code here for us with AI. Oh, there we go. We have tic-tac-toe potentially. Oh, shit, it actually works. It looks terrible, but it works. Did I win? Winner X. But you can keep playing. Oh, no, you can't. Dude, it made a functioning tic-tac-toe game. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm gonna try to do this on something more complex. I'm going to open up one of my MMO games that I tried to build with 3JS, which is like a little bit more complex. And let's see what kind of edits we can do with cursor editor. Berry game. This is it. Nice. So this is my MMO here. Wait, when I press, oh, we have an inventory. Oh, we could work on that. Inventory currently, I'm pressing I here and you see there's just these these plus signs. In the future, these are probably just gonna be sprite, right? So like images, like small. We'll see if we can get cursor to change these to like a grid of images. This kick icon. So we're gonna have this kick icon as an example. I'm gonna go into cursor, find where this plus 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 is here this inventory UI window. So I'm gonna bring up the chat this time with command L. And now we have the chat window on our left. And it says, ask anything, use at to show code files and docs to the AI. In inventory, change the render from plus 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 to show a grid of images. Use the image can we do kick? Does it know that that image is there? Kick dot PNG. Oh shit, you can. So it's pretty cool. You can like use the at sign to reference files inside your repository. So that's very cool. Use, um, so you can, there's two chat completions, chat with code base or just chat. So code base will um, put the whole code base into context, I assume, which we don't really need for this task. I've already given it the two files that it needs to know and it will just do a normal chat completion. See if you can figure this out. Okay, so this is just chat. So maybe it doesn't actually write the code in the editor. I'm not sure. Okay, so here we go. Giving us a explanation of how it works, but it doesn't actually write the code in the editor, it seems, which is a bit annoying, but not too badly because copy and pasting, it won't be that hard. Okay, so we can see it's imported this. So it didn't actually give us the right path either. I don't know if that'll work. I say, oh, it worked. There we go. Look, perfect. That's pretty much exactly what I asked it to do. Now it does look a bit big. So we're just going to change it from 100 pixels to, to 30 pixels, 30 by 30. That's a lot better. Pretty cool. Yo, we have someone else here. Who's this? Hey, who you? <laughs> what are you doing here? Yo, it's me, Nick. Yo, Nick, what's good? Welcome to Berry Game. Oh shit, they're attacking me. Yo, you want to fight, Nick? 